Hello, my beauties and cuties. Happy Saturday. Yes, this is the first pillow talk for Saturday. And I'm so sorry I was late last night, guys. I've already got this already going where the steam is going good. This is not a cooking video. No, it's not. This is a special video that we're doing with you guys tonight. And... This is how I'm going to start it off. Instead of starting it off the way I normally do, with me being on the couch and introducing you, introducing you to Pillow Talk on Friday nights, um, I'm going to start it this way. This is my green tea, decaffeinated green tea, that I'm going to seat with y'all. And then we will start the video. I hope everyone has had a great week. And I hope everyone has a wonderful rest of the weekend. This is my green tea. I love tea, but I have never had green hot green tea. I'm gonna be honest with you. I never have, so I hope I like it. I got me some honey to go with it and yes I hope that you like this edition of Pillow Talk and yes my very first Pillow Talk that's on Saturday and it will be featuring not one but two of my friends on YouTube the first one is Alice Loves Being a Grammy Alice Lynn Loves Being a Grammy and my second one she is coming back for the second time time second go around with just Jessica and please when you get done with this video go over there hop over there I'll leave their video links down below and go see what they got tonight for you guys for this special pillow talk that we're doing tonight with you guys okay let's get to the video okay guys this is our Saturday special Saturday night's pillow talk. Sorry I was late on getting it out to y'all last night, but yeah, I was late. I've been fighting with this thing for like an hour to go over my head right. And it's not. My hair keeps falling and I look like a mess. But I'm not going to look nice in this one. No, I'm not. Tonight, guys, I thought it would be a good time right now the way things are being in our world right now especially in the united states right now of doing a special video on pillow talk with home remedies so tonight guys we are going to be bringing you home remedies i used to get boxy charm i used to get ipsy i used to get all kinds of different subscription boxes i even had a subscription box for toilet paper well guys and chewies well I have let everything go because I can't afford it anymore except one and it's the ice cream beauty box I just love that box so that's the only thing I have right now so I'm gonna be losing a lot of skincare and stuff like that with you guys with for myself because I had to you know let some of my subscription boxes go sorry about that so yeah I'm down to having to do home remedies getting down to doing um, making my own stuff so that's what this is about okay and I want to share it with you guys because we're in a we're in a time right now we've never quite seen in our lifetime not us I'm 52 and I've never seen that quite like this before so um, these things that we had home remedies uh, like old family recipes well we're having to get them back out now and using them so that's what this one is about and the first thing I'm going to do with you guys well that's why I did the green tea I don't know if you caught that but green tea is really good with all the anti antioxidants and stuff green tea is really 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 good for us and I got it seeping 
and it's looking good. So I'm going to be having a little green tea while I do this with you guys. Mine tonight, I told Jessica and I told Alice, you can do any home remedy you want. You can do makeup, you can do skincare, you can do home improvement. I don't care. If you got duct tape and crazy glue, you can build a house. <laughs> Just about. <laughs> but anyway, this is what I chose to do with you guys. Now I'm going to pour. Well, first of all, with that wonderful honey, and you're going to see the, uh, this again. With the honey, honey, I'm going to put just a little bit of honey in my green tea. Like I said, I don't normally drink green tea, but hey, who knows? This might be something I just fall in love with and really want to keep, keep coming. Get you some cotton balls, guys. So tonight, the ingredients that we're going to be doing, got some pineapple, cotton balls, rubbing alcohol, brown sugar, olive plant, tea tree, honey, cucumber, lemon, and an avocado. And yeah, we're going to have fun doing different things with these items. A lot of them you might already have in your fridge or your pantry or you know, you'd be surprised what you can do for skincare with these items. The first thing I'm going to do, say you can't get to your um, spray, you know, like when we do our mask or sheet mask and you don't have no more sheet mask and you don't have any more, um, oh, what's this stuff called? No, that's sanitizer. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Okay, dang it, guys. I'm so absent-minded right now. Okay, if you don't have toner, if you ran out of your toner, you might not have this, but you can use, and I couldn't find it, guys. I couldn't find no um, coconut oil. Couldn't find it. But I did get me some tea tree. So you can take tea tree oil, get a cotton ball, and it can be used for the toner for your face. Tea tree is good for your hair, your skin. Tea tree is just a wonderful product. Just, just an overall wonderful product. Yes, it is. It really is. So, just use that as your toner before you start the rest of your skincare. Then, you can take your green tea. That's really good. And you can sip your green tea as you do your skincare. That is super good. Now, you see these spots right here? I just had a doctor's appointment yesterday. Lost my doctor though, he's retiring, but he I know, I know you probably need to go to a dermatologist and have a, a biopsy done to know for sure. But he looked at him again. He looked at his spots again, really good and thorough with his light. And he said, these are not skin cancer. So that makes me feel better. Okay, I'm just going with that. Trust him. Okay, but this is super good for that that right there. It's a pineapple. Pineapple juice and lemons and avocados and your cucumbers are so good for a brightener and it tones out your skin good with uneven tones of your skin. 
It takes the redness and these brown spots. This, and this is my first time trying this. I'm not going to lie to you. And you just rub it on these areas that troubled areas. Now it's supposed to be good for any bags underneath the eyes, any darkness underneath the eyes. It's got something in it that to help. I should have did some uh, my cards, got my cards out and uh, yeah, read them out to you. But that is really good for that. Then you can take your cucumbers this is a cucumber just right off my right off my garden there and you can do the same thing but I'm gonna do it all over cucumbers oh and this feels really nice because it's cold and it was in my fridge oh my goodness this feels so good you can put cucumbers on your face too and it is good for your pores it is good for dark spots it is just overall really good for you, for your skin. So we got that, we did that. And now I'm gonna cut into my lemon. They said citrus is really good, but the thing with citrus, you can't leave it on real, real long because it might can burn your skin. So I'm not gonna leave this mask on very long with you guys. So, I'm going to use all this. And if you have any scratches or anything like that, now it's going to burn because it's citrus, right? I don't have none of that going on with me. Just rub it on you after you did your toner. Now you're building your homemade mask, right? You're building it up as you go. Okay, now we're going to really get into... I'm going to use this avocado and I'm going to make me the rest of my homemade mask with you all. But before, oh, and I'm going to use avocado. I'm putting avocado in this dish with a lemon. With honey. Hold on, let me rinse my hands off. Okay, I'm back. So I got my avocado and my lemon in here. And we've already did the, I'm not gonna put the, I'm not gonna crush up the cucumber because I've already like put it all over my face real good. So I'm not gonna do that. And then I'm gonna put a little bit of honey. And if you want, you can add coffee to this you can if you got some coffee grinds you can add coffee coffee's really good because it's got the caffeine and caffeine is really good for the skin it wakes the skin up don't just wake you up it wakes your skin up as well so i'm gonna apply this to my face and this is my mask this is it's not a sheet mask but it's no different than my, and I'm just using my hands, guys. I know, I'm going to make a really big mess here with you guys. You and these home remedies, come on, it's it's taking us out of our comfort zone, that's for sure. Because, I mean, you know, we I love my sheet mask, just like the next one of you guys do. If you do, if you can, you can make your own sheet mask. You can. But, you know, I have to go digging for that on learning how to do that so i like these kind of masks too i really do a little mad mud mask and you know other than just sheet mask yes i do so i got this all over you can even put some on your chest and i am going to do that because after this video i'm just going to take a shower guys take a shower and get all nice and clean now A very good thing using this don't now add one more ingredient to it talking about taking a shower add one more ingredient to the avocado lemon and honey 
a tablespoon of brown sugar. I feel like I'm doing a chemist. I feel like I'm in school. Stir that up really, really nice, really good. Let me get it stirred up good. I'll be right back. Okay, guys, I'm back. You should see the mess I'm making. This is what it looks like. And you know what we're going to do with this? Add in the brown sugar. We're going to do a lip scrub. Everything in here can be edible. Okay, so it's not going to hurt you if it gets in your mouth. I did not put tea tree in it. Okay, this is for the, and it's not to be consumed. You can't eat tea tree. Not this kind anyway, I wouldn't. Um, but yeah, now we're going to do a lip scrub. And you can take this, save this when you get in this shower and rub it. I'm going to do my arms with you. And just do your lips. And you can feel the grind, the, the sugar. And you can add your own lip scrub. You can put white sugar too. White sugar would probably work better than brown sugar. Because now I'm going to put it on my arms. And this could be wonderful for a uh, body scrub. Oh my God, I'm making a mess. I feel like a baby in the high chair that's done played with its food. That's another thing we're gonna discuss too in a minute. At pillow talk time. I just spit it across the room. <laughs> oh my God, this feels nice though. It really does. And you just put it on your neck and oh yeah this i'm definitely taking me a shower but i wanted to show y'all what you can do with all these different ingredients right in your that you have already right so yeah. <laughs> i'm getting this everywhere okay i'm gonna wipe my mouth I don't taste bad. I'm just, I'm sticky and I'm like, oh my God, Barbara. And now I'm going to drink my green tea with my honey. Oh, there's one more thing I had out here that I had to show y'all. Before I get into my tub. My aloe vera aloe vera is so good for you you know it can help you with uh, scars it can help you with like um if you have like um scars from being pregnant birth um whatever you call them things i can't remember the scars from being pregnant <laughs> i know y'all are screaming it out now put it in the comments yeah I'll leave it in the comments burns if you have a burn get your aloe vera on your burn. Aloe vera is good for dark spots too. Put it on your dark spots. Aloe vera is just an overall good thing to have too as well. And that's why I, I use this aloe vera. It's probably dying on me. You can tell I snipped it off here and just snipped it off here today. I got to get me another one. Okay. So I done did the tea tree with you. That was the toner. I did my honey. I mixed it up with my body and lip scrub. I did the pineapple with you guys. My lemon with you. I'm just making a horrible mess. How are y'all liking this video? <laughs> y'all might have wished it was a cooking video than this. <laughs> Oh my god, I just feel like, now I feel like a sticky mess. Okay, and real quick, save these things. If you go to any store and they give you these alcohol things to wipe your hands down, save them because this, when you, they're running low right now on hand sanitizers in certain states and certain places. 
So if you have these, keep them and you can get them at your local Chick-fil-A. And guys, if you don't have that and you go grocery shopping or something and you just want to get that stuff off your hands from any germs and you don't have no alcohol, uh, I mean not, if you don't have any um, hand sanitizer, just use your regular rubbing alcohol. Just use your regular rubbing alcohol. And safety seal. Every time I see a safety seal, I think of uh, Lori Latimer. She sings that safety seal song. Just, you know, take a little bit of it and rub it on your hands and it will kill any kind of germs that you have on your hands. So you don't, you don't, or you can get it, put it in a spray bottle and you can spray it on your hands if you want. I am so sticky now. Take one more sip of my green tea. I'm going to hop in my shower and get all this off of me and then we'll be back for pillow talk. So stay tuned. I'm back. <laughs> Oh my God, I took a really quick shower with you guys. It washed my hair. My face feels better than it's ever felt with, and I'm not lying to you guys. That's the first time I did a home remedy like that. Very first one that I even tried. And oh my gosh, my chest here, my arms, my lips, and my my face i just can't believe how good it feels guys i urge you i urge you for the ones that love skincare try what i just tried and you will see a huge difference than these sheath masks that we get with these boxes it is amazing it is really really good super good you will love it if you try it if you just try it i'm gonna make i'm gonna do that more often i really am Y'all please let me know down in the comments below. Do y'all like, and I'm sorry, this is a long one. It's 22 minutes, I know. And I'm trying to hurry, guys. Do y'all like these pillow talks? And do you like what we came up with y'all today? Look, I'm still seeping and sipping my coffee. Yes, I am. This coffee is really, not coffee, this tea. Did I say coffee earlier? This green tea is wonderful. Now let's get down to the pillow talk. <gasps> I forgot my pillow. Hold on. Okay, guys. I'm I'm so different with this one than I've done with y'all with any of them. I'm always on my couch, you know. But this one, I love this little pillow too. It's so soft. It's just like a decorating pillow. Look, it's still got the tag on it. To get that off. Anyway, I'm having a squirrel moment with y'all. I just thought I would do it a little different. And we're doing it on Saturday. I've never had two guests either. So this is my first time having two guests with y'all. So down below, you will see their videos. And it will be just Jessica and, and Alice. And please, go down below and check them out. Um down below check them out and see they're because they're doing what i'm doing so go see what they come up with for home remedies for you guys i have the best fun putting this together yes i have so anyway the gas prices are just so bad right now and like i said it's just the, our economy is just crashing and, you know, I'm not trying to get political or anything like that because I do still feel like we're a divided country. Yes, I do. Um, so I don't want to ever get uh, political. I, I don't want to get bring politics into any of my videos. But this is what real life, this is what we're living. This is what we're seeing when we go to the grocery stores. The, the groceries are tripling in prices. And um, it's sad. It's sad to see. I never thought in my years that I would see something so tragic. And I saw the saddest thing on um, YouTube the other night. I was flipping through, not YouTube, um, TikTok. And they got a shortage with um, baby formula. How tragic and sad that is. Because some mommies, I know this from experience myself, but some mommies cannot produce enough breast milk 
to feed their little ones and they need that formula for the for them women that don't produce enough milk for their babies and I seen this woman feeding she crushed up baby I mean she made up I guess her home baby food or whatever and try to make it as thin as she could and she was feeding her four month old baby that and crying while she was doing it because she didn't have no formula you know and she was feeding her baby that you know it's just tragic and it's just uh, I mean guys today we need God more in our lives than ever before we really do and I just pray and pray and pray that things will get better for us I really do and I mean you must have to be living under a rock if you do not see see the turn America has done has had you must be living under a rock if you think we're better than we was three years ago it's just it just trips me out you know but anyway so I just thought this would be a perfect thing not getting political but a perfect thing to do home remedies because what we like on them old family recipes that we get out every once in a while like that home remedies that we get out every once in a while this might be a daily a daily thing that we do now in our lives bringing back them home remedies I read if you run out of toothpaste and you can't get a hold of toothpaste baking soda use baking soda or mouthwash if you can't find mouthwash bourbon whiskey yep that kills everything in your mouth as well and uh, peroxide I, they say you can brush your teeth with peroxide and baking soda some people might do that and don't even use toothpaste because of the fluoride but I just thought I would come on and, and do something different with Pillow Talk and we do these home remedies I do not want this to be very long so I'm going to cut it now I hope that y'all enjoyed my video with y'all today and I hope you do go watch Alice and, and Jessica and see what they have for you and I will see you on the next one. Y'all take care. Be safe out there. And yeah. Start looking in your cabinets and your refrigerator. And see what you got that can help you. And a tight squeeze. Alright. Bye now. I'll see you on my next one.